I love travel and I love sales and it's easy to sell something that you're passionate about. Hi, my name is Paula Kaisner and I am a franchise owner of Cruise One. I've been an owner since March of 2012 and I am based in Austin, Texas. And the actual name of my franchise is Kaisner Cruises. I used to be in the tech industry, uh, but my husband and I, we don't have kids and so we've had the opportunity to do a lot of travel. And we were on a cruise and uh, we hit it off with another couple and they had been a part of Cruise One for over 10 years. And I was always told to go into sales, but it, I was, kind of was at a crossroads with, well, what would I want to sell? Well, we love travel, go into sales, and it just made sense. I've only been doing it for two and a half years and it's something I wish I would have done a long time ago. Um, when I meet people, it's such an easy subject to talk about. It's always a happy subject, and um, it's, it's just been such a successful experience for me. We are very lucky to have two ports in Texas, in Houston and in Galveston, so I've sold a lot of cruises out of those ports, and certainly other ones um, nationwide and worldwide too. Mm -hmm. So we actually went on to Cruise One's website and I put in, uh, I forget what area that, you know, I was interested in talking to somebody about purchasing the franchise and I was contacted um, by Mark Bryan, who was one of the business development specialists. And um, he, I know that there was a webinar, kind of an int introduction to the company webinar that he had me attend. And then he just kind of stayed with me throughout the entire process. Because I never owned a business, it was very important to me to have the right contact person resource to hold my hand through the entire process of what it would take to get it up and running before I went out for training. So even though I was a home-based agent, I knew I wasn't alone in trying to find the answers to the questions. After coming out of training, I was a little bit nervous because there's so much material to learn and you can't learn it all at once, but it really helped knowing that I had the support uh, back at corporate in um, Fort Lauderdale that I could call with any questions and so forth. And I kind of learned that in my first six to nine months, a lot of it is just learning, um, listening to the webinars and so forth. Um, but yes, when I, when I got my first phone call, was I nervous? Absolutely. I think that's only natural. You know, it's one thing to purchase the, fr uh, the franchise and to go to training, but it's another thing to make it successful. And I think what makes people successful is getting away from their desk and getting out into the community and meeting people. It's easy right after training to try to sell to people you already know, but to get new clients, you need to be willing to do trade shows to maybe join the Chamber of Commerce, different networking groups, and get people to trust you. And that's how you meet new people, you get people to trust you, and that's what makes you successful because I think people would rather purchase travel from people they know than just from somebody that they've seen in an ad. Absolutely, without blinking an eye, I have loved every moment of it. From learning about new places to travel to just meeting the people in the industry. Uh, I've traveled a lot, but I never knew what it was like on the, in the background of being in this industry, and it's been fascinating. I would tell them what a great experience I've had, but I would also tell them that I've worked my business. I don't just purchase into the marketing programs, sit at my desk and wait for the phone ring to ring. I get out into my community and I let people know that this is what I do. I get all over social media, this is what I do. And I care very much about my clients, about this business, and I try to show people my passion.